It's impossible to think and talk about the Vanos crew without feeling some kind of nostalgia. It was literally a different era in YouTube gaming, and there was just something so wholesome about all those guys. They were one of the most well-known gaming groups on the YouTube scene, with approximately 100 million subscribers across all of its members. However, what they had going kind of fell apart thanks to drama between some of the crew, and even though some members are still gaming and some are still friends, things aren't the same. That's why today we're taking a look at why the Vanos guys are no longer at the top of their game. First, referring to the group as the Vanos crew was probably one of the reasons for some controversy among the members, so maybe I should just stick to calling them the Banana Bus Crew. It all started with Evan Fong, who was known by the YouTube handle Vanos Gaming. He was later joined by H2O Delirious, I Am Wildcat, Dathy Dinalga, Moose Knuckle, basically I do WRK, 407, Terrorizer, Ohm Wrecker, Big Jiggly Panda, and other members over the years. The guys basically blew up because at the time everyone preferred the authentic type of content they were pushing out. Plus, they were really clever, witty, and funny. Although all members of the team at the beginning were small content creators and all were doing quite well, I'd have to say Evan was doing best because beyond bringing the others together and being the somewhat unofficial leader of the team, he was good at video editing and his skills were top-notch. In less than six years, he had gotten more than 21 million subscribers and more than 8 billion total video views. He kind of peaked in 2014, raking in about 6,000 subscribers and 6 million views per day. Oh God, hey, what's going on here? They'll hide ya! <laughs> with an average of 7.6 million views per video. But all the other guys were doing well too and steadily growing, and for a while it seemed like nothing could possibly go wrong. Well, that was until Mini Lad apparently began feeling entitled and maybe a little jealous of Evan's success. So he just upped and left. Kind of a bit uncalled for if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. Either way, Mini Lad left because he didn't want to be known solely as Evans' buddy. However, people seem to believe that if the roles were reversed and Evans was merely viewed as a friend of Mini Lad in the Mini Lad crew, they probably would still be playing video games together today. Why not invite Mini? I'll tell you why. He doesn't play with us. He left. And then he decided on stream to badmouth myself and my friends. Well, mainly just my friends. I didn't appreciate that. But Mini Lad wasn't the only reason things fell apart. A major controversy erupted after Ohm Wrecker claimed in a video that the Vanos crew members used to exchange images of women with one another. Ohm Wrecker apparently even had an audio clip he claimed supported what he was saying, although no one was for sure about the authenticity of the audio file. He went on to mention Delirious in particular and revealed that in 2013 his buddies fixed him up with a girl. The real controversy here was the fact that Ohm Wrecker played a recording of Delirious conversing with the allegedly underaged female. Now these are really heavy accusations and everyone wasn't quite sure who or what to believe. Things got even hazier and compounded because Delirious came out to defend himself by saying Ohm Wrecker was being manipulative because the two groups decided they didn't want to play games with him. Delirious also said Ohm Wrecker had done something similar in the past to someone else Else and had tried to destroy their reputation too. Plus, Delirious hinted that Ohm Wrecker had a girlfriend who he was keeping a secret and he was cheating on her. Let's just say I was absolutely not ready for the turn things took at that point because in further defense of himself, Delirious responded to the accusations made against him by claiming that his interaction with the minor was an appalling effort at hazing. He made public posts on Twitter claiming the context of the situation has been entirely misunderstood. He apparently received a message from someone he played with on Xbox a few times, and because he was young and impetuous, his attention was drawn by the fact that the stranger claimed they were only wearing a towel. Delirious continued that he had no clue about the girl's age and he didn't even know her well. It seemed Ulmrecker was being true to the pun of his name and was meddling with Delirious, who is currently concentrating on being a good father.
Speaking of fatherhood, it's honestly crazy how fast time flies because Ohmwrecker is now about 38 while Delirious is 35. Although YouTube is supposedly dominated by young celebrities, many of the platform's biggest success stories are now in their 30s, and that's what makes the drama between the guys even crazier. Sadly, things haven't been the same between all the guys for a while since then and almost everyone has got their own personal stuff going on. With this in mind, let's take a look at what the others have been up to. Wildcat temporarily withdrew to join the Fortnite craze while it was at its most popular. But with Fortnite slowly sinking into oblivion, he is slowly but surely making a return. Ido Work also went down the Fortnite path, but definitely wasn't a success, and now his views are drastically lower than what they used to be, maybe because he only plays with uninteresting broadcasters. And although he's been working on YouTube for more than half a decade, Marcel is also not doing so great for himself. He even had to get another job to support himself. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if he completely loses interest, especially considering that his friends are doing so much better. The same is true for Louis, who already pretty much said he was only in it for the money and didn't make enough to devote all his time to YouTube. As for Bryce, he long had both music and playing music going for him. He launched a second channel in 2013, which is currently his main one. In gaming, he frequently switches between playing single-player games and multiplayer games. He and the RPG Minx had a good partnership going on for a while, but she pulled back from making multiplayer videos to focus more on her marriage. The multiplayer games were between him, Messy Cat, Zero Doxy, and the RPG Minx not known as Cranks. The group identifies themselves as the Blacklist Crew, and they initially played a lot of the forest at the start before more multiplayer games. Rhea, Bryce's girlfriend, occasionally joined them, but after Minx decided to refocus on her marriage, the group broke up. Following gameplay from last year, Ohmwrecker was acting as a killer when Bryce, Rhea, Dracula, Rilla, and Sat showed up to his lobby at random. When someone inquired as to why Ohm and Bryce had stopped playing, Ohm responded that they had become friends once more and had been communicating on Discord at the time. Oh, and Delirious wasn't the only one Ohmwrecker had a falling out out with. Bryce and Ohmwrecker had a falling out as well. This incident this time followed a video Bryce posted to show off his workout progress. Ohm took to Twitter to discuss Bryce's videos, saying that people should love themselves for who they are and how they look. He basically implied that Bryce was fat shaming people who couldn't look like him. Of course, this led to a rift and they blocked each other on Twitter. After this disagreement with Ohmwrecker, Delirious also went on Twitter to clarify why he and cartoons had stopped playing with Bryce after Ohm and Bryce had a falling out. In his tweets, he had the reason Bryce stopped playing with them was that Ohm got jealous of him. And speaking of how Delirious is doing, it's almost like he is a lone wolf that somehow also happens to be a part of two wolf packs. He goes off on his own to record Spider-Man or RDR2, but he always comes back to assist his other packs. As for Evan, he works as a DJ and music producer under the moniker Rinks. He also acted as the creative director of the video game Dead Realm and provided the voices for the animated series Alpha Betas and the YouTube premium series Paranormal Action Squad. There are many other members I sadly couldn't cover, but the truth is, if I speak about everyone, you might just get sadder as it hits you that the Banana Bus crew is probably never coming back. They are definitely all going to be sorely missed. But before we go, don't forget to drop your opinions in the comments below on what you think the biggest factor that caused them to split up was. 